check this out, man. Got one ThinkPad transcoding a video that you're going to see in a little bit about a road trip I went on. Hey, check it out, man. Excellent magazine for old radio restorers like me. Um, why the road trip? <laughs> because of that. You don't get to look yet. And because of that, <laughs> you don't get to look at that either. Hang on, man. Okay. Now, we're out here in the garage. Because what I want to talk about before we get to those uh, little surprises in the house are these. These are six ham sticks that the... Uh, the fellow threw in for free when I bought that uh, that vintage equipment in the house. And uh, hang on. Well, I don't need to pause you. Let's go outside and look what I did. Now you can see just a piece of wire laying there for a counterpoise. Because I wanted to test these hamsticks. He didn't know what bands they were for. That's why he couldn't sell them. Took a mobile mount bolted it to a metal plate that you can't see and I have my hamstick mounted there okay and uh, I've been testing all these hamsticks to see what bands they were for and it looks like I got a 40 meter one a 20 meter one I got two 15 meter hamsticks and two 10 meter hamsticks and so what I want to talk about, though, right now, I want to make a case for the Z-Match antenna matching device. This is my Z-Match tuner, if you want to call it that. Now, I use this in Seattle in my second floor apartment with a 44-foot long doublet. And on each end of the doublet, about six feet dropped straight down toward my floor. That's the only way I could fit a 44-foot doublet in the apartment. And with this Z-Match, man, it worked like gangbusters, man. I worked dozens of countries only with QRP, always only QRP in that apartment. And, uh... I'm winded. <laughs> and the 44 foot doublet worked great on 80 meters as well. Now, when you, the lower the band, the sharper the tuning will get when it's a, a real compromise antenna like that, okay? And um, I wanted to, before I get into how it works with that hamstick, I also use that. When I first moved back home to Michigan, I stayed with a friend of mine for a handful of months while I saved up for the, while I looked for the house, actually. And, um, I had a piece of wire, thin, thin red wire that ran from this up to the ceiling over about uh, 12 feet and dropped down into a stairwell. The overall length of that wire was about 35 feet. And uh, my counterpoise was a random length of wire, maybe 15, 16 feet laying on the floor. I worked all bands with it. I worked 80 meters, all only QRP. I entered the uh, QRP club monthly sprint and won one of the month's sprints. <laughs> with, that, with that crap wire and that Z-match. Now, I'm going to pause you. Sorry about the lighting out here, but you can see what you have here. Uh, coaxial input or an unbalanced input such as a counterpoise and a random wire. Balanced input, output to transceiver, and a selector switch to choose whether you're using the balanced or the unbalanced input. The only difference being it's always a balanced. It has a built-in balance. 
The only thing is when you're going to use it with an unbalanced antenna, it just grounds one side of the ballon, references it to ground. I'm going to pause you. I sure hope you can read that screen. Um, boy, the lighting is hard to get. That is uh, connected directly. The, uh, the analyzer is connected directly to that ham stick out there. And that's its resonant frequency. Right about there. And what I'm going to do... Sorry about the shaking. Oh my God. I'm going to pause you. And uh, we'll put the Z match in line. What I, oh, before we do that, let me turn this... Let's crank her down to... Say I want to run CW. And... We'll take that. Okay. Say my hamstick's tuned to the uh, phone portion of the band. And I want to run some CW. I don't know if you can see, but the standing wave ratio is 3.5 to 1. Now I'll pause you. We'll connect it to the Z match without touching this and see what kind of match I can attain. Okay. What I've done is put you on a tripod because I need, um, I prefer to use both hands when I tune a Z match, but in this case, on this band, the left hand control is turned fully clockwise. Now, this tuning is pretty touchy, and that's not a bad uh, match right there, but watch, uh, I'm going to tilt you down so you can see the analog meters. Uh, okay. Is it in focus? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to turn the right hand control and see if we can get a little bit better of a match than that. Pretty touchy. There. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. Um, not bad. So I'm going to turn the frequency control on the analyzer. And uh, so before I started, you could see that the... Uh, in the configuration that antenna is right now, sit clamped to the edge of my uh, table on the deck. Um, that's basically the top of the band, and the, the match is 2.1. I forget what it was without the Z match. I'll look and see when we're done. But at the t okay, so we we got a per a excellent match, 1.1 1 .1 to 1 at the very bottom of the band. Let's see what we can do here. And once again, yeah, oh, really, come on, man. There we go. 1.1, 1 1.2 1, 1 to 1 at the very top of the band without doing anything with the antenna. What's the efficiency? Well, the Q of a Z match is extremely high. The efficiency is darn good. Um, the bandwidth is extremely narrow. You just saw it. You go changing uh, frequency very much, and you're going to start climbing up. And well, God, the analyzer is sensitive. You know, that'd be acceptable. You could still run that without touching up the Z match, but why not if it's sitting on the seat right next to you? That's my thing. These uh, ham sticks I got with the vintage equipment in there. I'm going to be mounting uh, the antenna mount on the roof of the cab of my truck tomorrow and I'll see what these antennas I'll, I'll tune them as best I can on the truck uh, but any tuning issues beyond that I know what I'm gonna do when I run POTA I'm gonna have my rig on the my rig in my truck and my Z match on my seat next to me and uh, what I'm I just throw a big wire over a branch Screw it to the top of the antenna uh, mount on the cab of the truck and have me a seat <laughs> whilst connected to a long piece of wire. That's how I'll run POTA. <laughs> but anyway, while operating portable, if I have trouble getting a, a reasonable match with the SAM6, I'll get them as best, I'll tune them as best I can. But when traveling and uh, 
going to be doing a lot of traveling to see my brother Art in Ohio, so <clears throat> my radio will be my companion, as will my Z-Match. I am absolutely sold. Hang on. On this. <laughs> oh, there we go. I can't even pick it up. I am absolutely sold on the versatility and the efficiency of a Z-Match antenna tuner. Published in all the design. Um, I came across it in an ARRL publication. It's in all of their handbooks, I think. So, from me, <laughs> 73, take care and be well.